Hello again. Welcome to Soul School. I'm Theoline Cortens. And this is number two in a series of ten short videos about the laws of creation. I hope you've watched the introduction already and number one. So the second law of creation is what I call the law of divine investment. Now, if you think of your life, body and soul together, as a, a journey being made on a ship, you're on your life ship. And further down the line, we can talk about the captain of this ship. But before the ship leaves harbour, it requires some investment from the ship's owner or the, or the ship shipping company that owns the ship will invest resources. Of course, in the material world, that was those resources might be, you know, food for the crew or, or rum perhaps, or just money. So, what is the divine investment in your life? What has the divine offered you? To support your journey? Well I think there are two very crucial qualities, divine qualities, that you bring with you into the world. <coughs> and, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> so the first thing that happens is you make this contract and that actually in of itself is a very powerful thing to do. It's a, it's a, an initiation, it's a taking on of a responsibility, a taking on of the idea that you will have the potency because your life is grounded in divinity. So you've already started off with that power. But then there are two qualities, very specifically, that I'm sure everybody can call on. One of them is love, or sometimes we would say compassion, because our love doesn't have to be romantic, but it is empathy, it is the ability to be with other people in the world, other creatures in the world, and even just the process that you're going through, to feel that encompassing connection. And the other one I call wisdom. But another phrase we could use is intelligence or creative intelligence. Because wisdom in ancient times wasn't just kind of uh, like, oh, this old person is wise because they've had so many experiences. And it's not kind of common sense. It's more like knowing how things work. Wisdom is connected to the word wizard. So it's understanding how things actually work in the invisible world. And this is why many creators, many inventors, many uh, people, both men and women, who've had huge insights into how things work and they've made technological advances, it's because that divine wisdom resides in them and they've accessed it, and quite often through dreams, by the way. So you carry with you those immense resources. One, to feel that you can be loved and supported and that you can give love and support. And the other, that you would always have access to a kind of invisible, um, what could I say, encyclopedia of um, how, how things function. And over the generations, human beings in the world, the physical material world, have had the opportunity somehow to bridge 
their consciousness from this world to the divine and receive information. Now, the mystical Kabbalah, which is a Jewish tradition, is one of those uh, understandings that have come through the invisible connection that the mystic can make with his or her own mind and the divine. So Kabbalah in itself, which underpins what I'm saying about the Ten Laws, Kabbalah, the word, means to receive. So when we talk about the law of divine investment, we are saying that you are entitled not only to the love of the divine, unconditional love, but you are also entitled, because the divine is investing that in you, you are entitled to receive the information that you need, that it will come to you, whatever it happens to be for whatever project or, or, or so forth that you're engaged with. What you need to know can come to you in all kinds of mysterious ways. So think about those two laws, law of divine contract, law of divine investment, and that should give you the confidence to know that whatever it is you are here to do, whatever you feel your purpose is in this life, in this incarnation, the resources have already been given to you and they won't let you down if you call on them. I'll be back with law number three very shortly. And I am offering a course in this uh, spring of 2023, starts in February, about the 10 laws. So get in touch with me if you're interested, theolin at theolin.com. And if you happen to watch this series after the date has gone by, still get in touch with me because we may repeat the class later and I'd love to hear from you anyway. Many blessings.